Alright, I got a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee or Jeep WK, whichever one you want it, with the 3.7 motor. I'm having uh, issues with shifting problems. Here's what you do when you get that right here. See all the things, P, reverse, neutral, drive, when they all light up like that? That's the reason why I'm doing this, this job right here. Pull the codes and you get this U0404 PO700 transmission control system PO700 transmission control system same thing one's generic pending and one's stored I'm going to show you how to fix that so there implausible data received from electronic shift module that's what ESM is and what that is is this right here underneath all this where you got electrical connections where you shift the gates is like a little fine needle I'll show you all this that runs through all the gears park reverse neutral drive and they have a graphite inside there and as you shift through the gears the graphite basically like gums up where it should be like a little space you got park, space, reverse, space, neutral, space. So as you shift it over time, the graphite just makes one continuous line. So basically all you want to do here is just clean it out. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. First thing you're going to want to do is grab this plastic ring right here. Pull it down. It's not that hard. If you can't get in there, get a flat blade screwdriver. Put it between the plastic and your knob and just give it a little rocking motion it'll come loose after you pull this down this little plastic chrome trim just pull it straight up put that aside take your ring off put that aside now you're going to want to put it in neutral put your parking brake on next step is to grab your trim your chrome trim around here pry it up gently that comes out next thing you're gonna want to do remember part of my mess here it's been a while is grab your rubber cup holders and pull out the lining comes out like that and comes out like that it's just rubber tabs that hold it in place this is a good time to clean the car while you're at it Okay, after you take out your cup holders, grab this right here, another trim piece, pry it up. You got a good access right here. See the slot? And grab it, pull up here. That takes out this and this. Another trim piece. Put that aside. This is what we're going to be taking out right here. But in order to get this whole ESM out, you got to take the whole, the whole center console out. Alright, next step is driver's side. One, two. These are torque heads. T15 torque. Take these two out. Alright, come on the passenger side. Got another one right here. T15. And you're going to have another one on the other side. Don't lose these screws, because if you do, you'll be in trouble. Go on the driver's side. Put the driver's seat all the way forward. Got one here. Next step is where well, you got your air ducts in the back seat. Got this panel here. What you're going to want to do is take a flat blade screwdriver. Put it between here and here along the seam. Pry it out. Is held in place by four clips. I'll show you. It's hard to do with one hand. There you go. There's the clips. One clip here, one clip here, one there, one there. Just clicks in. It's kind of hard. Take out your foam. Once you have that out, you have access to this torque head and this torque head here. Alright, next step is 
This is a Torque 20, T20. You got one here, and one right here. Take these two out and don't lose them. Next up, come back to the front. This is where your cup holder was. Right here you have a 10 millimeter socket. It only makes sense to make everything the same, but this is. Once you take out that 10 millimeter bolt, what you're gonna have now next to do is you're gonna grab the whole console, see it's loose, and pull it back. Grab it here, under here, and separate it. Grab it on this side, separate it, work it out. Once you pry that console back, up, and you can separate it. Next you're gonna to wanna to do is take out this this rubber line in here. Can't do it. Take a flat blade screwdriver, get a small one. I'm using a big one. And just pull it back like that. You got one, two, three, up front, you got another one here, four. T20, torque head 20 bolts. Take these four out. And this wire harness right here. Alright, after you take out the four bolts, the harness, grab this. This just comes straight up. This is your problem right here. And now it's gonna get fun now. You gotta love this part. This part here ain't for the faint of heart, alright? Alright. Here's the front. Flip it over. You got one here. One here. Those are two T15 bolts. Take those two out. So basically it comes up like this. See the two tabs right here I was talking about? It comes up like that. Almost like a rocking one. Like that. Okay, take that out. You can put this aside, this out, get this out of your way. Remember the orientation. This little tab points to the left, okay? Toward the lights, these are the lights right here. Okay, grab your lights, lift it straight up. Remember the orientation of everything, put it aside, just like that. Six tabs, one tab here, one tab here, one here, the other side, one, two, three. Small screwdriver, separate them. Pry this piece right up. Remember your orientation. This side is always to the left. Pry this straight up. See a little bracket here, see? This sits behind this rubber piece. Same thing on this side. This sits behind this rubber piece right here. Take it up, that's what it looks like. Put that aside. Here's your electronics. Okay. This is what you have here, right? Here's electronics. Don't be messing around with any of these. Don't touch it, don't mess with that. You have a T10 screw right here. Pop that out. Okay, once you take out that T10 from here, what you're gonna wanna do is gently, I mean gently, lift this up. Pry it straight up. You want it, you want it to come straight out. The reason you want it to come straight out is because you have your pins here, electrical pins, and you have these two pins here, which you do not want to damage at all. You're gonna flip it over. Now you see here, this is where you have your park, right here, your reverse, your neutral, your drive. You see all these right here? This is what I was talking about the graphite. You see that little trace right here, that line, that little track right here? See right here? How it crossed over? Right here, it's supposed to be clean. But you got those two little trace tracks right there. All right? You're gonna wanna get contact cleaner. Electrical cleaner, contact cleaner with Q-tips. Spray the Q-tip and clean these as good as you can. You want all that to come off. This should be like a single 
space right here not no tracks running through it you see trace amounts right here you see trace amounts right there look at that track that's supposed to be completely clear and that's the problem uh, this is what i use qd electronic cleaner spray some of this on your q-tip regular q-tip what you're going to want to do is take your cleaner I don't know how this is gonna come out. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take your cleaner, spray it on your Q-tip, and rub all of this clean. You want it to be as clean as possible. You don't want no graphite making solid connections between these brakes. Right? Okay, this is what you have here. See all that black stuff? That's the graphite that was making the connections solid instead of having that break in the middle. This is what it looks like now. See the space in the middle between the two tracks? Clean. Keep doing that over and over and over until no, no, no more graphite comes out. Okay. There's your shifter assembly. Got your square up here, you got the two holes here. Everything lines up. Two pins go straight down. Pin, and this goes straight into there. Be very gently. You don't want to bend anything when you put these back in. If you look at it, it has a slight cant to it, see? That's seated all the way, but you have that little cant. See it's flush? pins are in straight two pins on the bottom are in they're straight put your t10 screw back in okay remember you got to work these little plastics very gently because these are thin plastic right here right here make sure all six of your tabs are in place flip it over one two three all in place Always work with this facing you, this hole facing that way. That's the way it comes out the car, that's the way it goes back in. Okay, to put this in, this just sits right behind it. This goes right on top like that. It just hangs there like that. So as you shift it in the car, it goes like that, see? Okay, once you got your rubber in place, Take your LEDs, your cover. This goes right on top. It goes in that slot here, and this just falls in place. Doesn't really do much. That's it. Make sure it's firmly seated here. You hear it? Click, click. Now you're gonna want to take your cover, flip it over, like so. Flip this thing over, there's your bolt. One bolt here, one bolt there. Okay, once you flip it over, you have it in, you rolled it in, you got your screw hole here, the screw goes in there. Two T15s, screw them in, you're ready to go. All right, screws are in place, flip it over, make sure the, see the plastic, Make sure the plastic moves freely, you didn't pinch nothing. And now you're ready to put it back in the car. Get back in the car, take this, slide this up. You want that to be toward the top. See the hole, the pl white plastic. Shift lever goes through the white plastic on the bottom and goes through the top. Gotta make sure you make it goes through all in one shot. Don't force nothing, because everything here is plastic. And if it could break, it would break. There you go. Okay. Now that's there. Put it back in the neutral. Just so we got more room. Drop it in. Make sure your holes line up. Your hole here. The hole in front. There you go. Snaps in. You got your four holes. One, two, 
three, four. Put your screws in. After you get your four bolts in, one, two, the, I already put the cover back on. Three, four, those are T20s. After you get the four T20s in, your connector in. Now you're gonna wanna take your center console, armrest, put it back in. After you have, after you have it in place, you got your 10 millimeter bolt. Drop that down in there, bolt it up. Okay, you got that in there. Might as well finish everything on the top before you go to the back. And get the back bolts. You gotta put your coin holder, whatever you want to call it, trim ring in. This goes in, boom, bada bing, bam, right? Boom, bam, boom, right? Sits in there, snaps in, nice and pretty. Boom, bang. Take your chrome piece. Whatever color you have, you might have a different color. Snap that in, boom, but a bing bang, right? Boom, bang, boom. There you go. Make sure it's firmly in. You might hear clicks. Bang, bang, boom, right? Put your chrome ring down. Take your shift knob, put it in. Like so. You want to pinch it like that. It'll be easy and neutral. Lock that into place. Once this clicks in down all the way firmly, then you're gonna take your ring and pull it up to make it lock. Okay, you're gonna take your two T20s, there's one hole there, one hole there, put them in. You're gonna take your three other T15s, one here, one here, and one up front. The one up front and this one here, you move the seat back all the way. Button those two up. Go on this side. Put your one T15 back in place. Okay, you're gonna put your little foam thing back in. We came out. See this little tab goes up underneath. Like so. Just press it in. In the place like that, and there you go. All right, final step put your cup holder back in, Oops. it goes right into there. These two tabs on the back go into there. All right, last step is if you have a scanner or anything like that, and if your car didn't clear the codes when you disconnected the battery. Go there. Codes are there. Erase the codes. This is only when you're done with the whole process. Engine must not be running. Enter. Erase the codes. Just gonna check again no codes you just saved yourself about 800 plus dollars if you go to the dealer and they'll tell you right away you need a whole new uh electronic shift module but if you just clean it save yourself close to a thousand dollars taxes and parts included in labor all right i hope that video helped you thumbs up the video spread the word subscribe and god bless